so my name is Artist Nicole for all you guys who don't know me. Hello, Miss Nancy. And hello, Amanda Christensen. Check this one out. Ooh. All right. Now, for all you little ones out there, Santa's watching, okay? You'll be good to your parents. You love them. You treat them with love and respect, and you do what they say, or else you'll get cold, okay? Ho, ho, ho. Now, welcome, everybody. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Artist Nicole. I'm a little cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. I say this every time. Thank you guys for joining me. Tonight, we are going to paint the beautiful Christmas moves. So I hope you guys have your eggnog ready. I hope you have your lights turned on because tonight is your night. That's right. Okay. My rules are absolutely simple. You guys eat, you drink lots of wine, and you drink your favorite eggnog. And let's not forget that tonight is our ugly sweater contest. People must say, I don't have an ugly sweater. You make an ugly sweater because it's your world. Okay? And don't, I absolutely understand that we had a wicked pisser of a snowstorm last night. So, for those folks who are not able to catch this moose, I know there's a ton of interest. For those folks that are not able to watch the Christmas moose tonight, I'm going to put it on my Facebook page. You guys have all week long to do the Christmas moves if you don't have power tonight. And the ugly sweater contest, rather than announce it in a couple days, I'm gonna give you guys a whole week to get dressed up in that ugly sweater, paint the moves, and win some free tickets, okay? So no worries. All right, so, like I said, my name is Artist Nicole, and we are gonna get going. We're gonna start painting in our Christmas moves. You guys feeling it? Oh, give me the moose Give me the moose <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I am going to have everybody do with this Christmas moose, I'm going to give you one quick peek. We are probably going to take the full hour, two hours tonight, because there's lots of steps in the Christmas moose. But that's all right. You guys got this. I hope you're in large groups all wearing your ugly sweaters and having a good time. Let's see. Hey, Melissa Long, Kelly Staples, Cindy Bailey, Bobby Morin, how you doing? Patricia Poisson, Jessica Pierce, Anita Robinson, Christina Wilson, yeah, girl. Let's see. Tanya Pillsbury, Darla Karen, Sharon Viola Morton, hello, Sharon and Henry. Lee Brown Faulkner, Heather Graru, Bobby Joe Burnham, Nicole Graff, Sherry Milborn, Connie Foster, hi Connie, Anita Robinson, Cuckoo Kajoo, Tanya Pillsbury, and Melissa Wentworth Bond. Hey, that's okay. And spread the word that I am going to, if you guys don't have power, I'm going to keep this on my page, Artful Nights Made, for a whole week. So you guys have a whole week to paint this. Send me pictures of you and your ugly sweater and your moose. Caleb Partner, Melissa Wentworth Bond. Randy's with me too. All right, Wendy. Wendy Lewis, girl. Welcome, Sherry Stewart. Monica Marin. Hey, hey, hey. All right, the more the merrier. <laughs> I know. I am bringing sexy back tonight with my pretty kitty sweater. You know what I'm saying? All right. Here we go. So the first thing that I'm going to have you guys do with this moose, I'm going to get you started because there is lots to do tonight. So everybody's going to grab their brown paint. And what I'm going to have you do with that brown, that brown, brown cow, is you're going to take your paint plate and you are going to pour out one two, three, four, four piles of brown. Now, let me show you what this looks like, okay? Oh, I love the snow miser. 
All right, here we go. We got four piles of brown. Now watch what we're going to do with that. One of those piles of brown, I'm going to have you take some black, and you're going to put a little black in it. That's going to be your dark brown. One of them we're going to leave plain. One of them we're going to put just a dollop of white in. Okay? So we're going to lighten that up just a little. And then the last one is going to be a very light brown. So we're going to add a lot of white to that one. Okay? All right? So we're going to have four browns tonight. Dark brown regular brown, medium light brown, and a light brown. Four different kinds. Okay, we're gonna start off with that. You guys are gonna grab your medium brush. What? Yep, grab that medium brush. You're gonna mix them all up. Oh, geez, what happened to you? Gotta go back up there. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm a boss jocks, cause I'm playing on my pewter. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to mix up all of those piles. First one, we got the dark brown. It's a nice coca brown. Okay. Then I'm going to clean off my brush. There we go. And all you people out there say, Christmas kitty, my mouth. <laughs> I've been saving this for a year. <laughs> okay, you've got your regular brown. You're gonna mix up your medium light brown. And then you're gonna mix up your lightest light brown. Okay? So we have four browns on our paint plate. Oh yeah. Feel free to book a day in one of these little Christmas, I like this Christmas music. All right, little ones, you remember that. When you believe, you receive, okay? <laughs> the world is making you grow up too fast. When you believe, you receive. Okay, now what I want you to do is make four different distinctive browns, okay? You need to add a little bit of brown, you go for it. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more white to my light one. Seems as though I got a little fuzzy on my lips. <laughs> Bonnie Bender, thank you, honey. Jennifer Hembry, hi, baby, how are you doing? Oh, I love my Hembrys. Melissa Wentworth Bond, you got it, baby, don't you worry. We'll be naming, this is just the mix-up. Crystal Ward, hi, honey. How you doing down in uh, Wyndham? Oh, trying not to paint my pewter. Tiffany Noel. Oh my goodness, you're Christmassy, aren't you? So you can see my colors. You got it, gorgeous. All right, I'm just going to make this a little lighter. So basically what you're looking for is you're looking for four different browns that go from darker to lighter to the lightest. Okay, here you go. Here you go, Miss Tiffany Noel. Oh, I got a suck in my belly. You guys can't see that. Okay? So, here we go. We start off, this is our darkest brown right here. Okay, that's our dark brown. This is our regular brown. Then we have a lighter brown. And then we have our lightest brown. You guys see this? So, you're looking for four different tones of brown. Okay? That's it. That's all you got to do. And you got to make sure that each one of them is a little bit lighter than the last one. Okay? You want four distinct colors. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to have you guys take your favorite light blue and put that on your paint plate. Okay? A little bit of light blue and a little bit of white. And that's where I'm going to stop you tonight, because that's a lot on one paint plate. We'll add the other colors later. We might even have to use two paint plates. All right, everybody? Who's ready? Who's ready for your moose? I know I am. All right, everybody say Christmas moose. Do it. <laughs> okay. So 
So the first thing that we're going to do with the Christmas mousse tonight, I'm going to push this back so you guys can see every little thing. And I'm going to have you grab your biggest brush, your big kahuna. Wanda Smith. Hey, Wanda. Brittany Worcester. All oh, that means all my nieces and nephews are on there. Hi, baby. Hello, Mr. Lincoln. Hello, Andrew. And hello, little Lily Buggins. I love you. Aunt Nikki loves you. Mwah. Okay. Lori Doucette. Hi, honey. Betty Cameron. Ho, ho, ho. You got it, girl. <laughs> okay. So what you guys are going to do first, everybody's going to grab their big kahuna. And tonight, since we're painting the moose, I decided, what's that moose foot called? Right? Moose foot. I think it's called the moose knuckle. All right, we're gonna call this our moose knuckle. So everybody, grab your moose knuckle, okay? And every time I say, grab your moose knuckle, you know what I'm talking about, your big old brush. And what we're gonna do with our moose knuckle, now first thing you need to notice, okay? This painting, the orientation. So it doesn't go like this, it doesn't go the long way, but it goes this way. And I don't know what that's called. I think it's portrait, but I'm dyslexic. I get them all mixed up all the time. So we're going to hold the canvas this way. Okay, the long way. All right, where are you? <laughs> Hello, Sherry Bearden. How you doing? All right. So what you guys are going to do first, Wanda Smith, if I missed you, you are going to grab that moose knuckle. And one side of that brush is going to be white. And the other side of that brush is going to be light blue. So what we're going to call this, we're going to call this double dipping. Thank you, Sharon Farley. You are so right. We're going landscape, horizontal. I love you guys. Take care of me. Okay? So one side is light blue. The other side is white. And what you guys are going to do is, ooh, many kaliki maka. I love this song. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, we're going to dance to many Kaliki Maka. What you guys are going to do is you are going to paint your entire canvas just like this. Up and down. We're stroking it up and down with that blue and white. And the reason that we're double dipping is so that we can get both of those colors in there. Look at that. Okay? Can you see what's happening? Can you see that those colors are blending together and it's not just one flat color? Well, that's why we double dip. And sometimes I hold it like this, okay? I'm holding it this way just so I can uh, paint it a little easier, okay? Eleanor, Ricky Stone, landscape, Melissa Long, horizontal. You guys know I'm just, you know, I'm about. My res I, re I rely on you guys. Thank you. <laughs> you know it, sweet lovings. So it's horizontal or it's the landscape. Okay? And you guys are going to stroke it. Stroke it with that moose knuckle. And here we go. Right down on the bottom. We're going to paint this whole canvas just like this. I love me some many Kaliki Maka. I don't know about you guys, but it turns my crank. <laughs> That's right. That's right, little Hawaiian Christmas day. All right, here we go. We're going to finish her up just like this. And a painting is never finished until we do what? Till we paint the top the sides and the bottom, okay? But we never paint our bottom first, why? Because we get a sticky Christmas bottom and nobody wants a sticky Christmas bottom. You hear what I'm saying? So what you guys are gonna do is once you get this all painted like this, okay? We're gonna turn it back to its regular orientation, just like that. And you guys are going to come around and you're going to paint the top, the sides, the bottom. All right. And that way, when you go to hang up your moosey painting 
for Christmas, you guys aren't going to see the white sides. Nobody wants to see that when it's hanging over the Christmas dinner table. Huh? When we're eating our Christmas goose, we want to make sure that we got pretty paintings. There we go. Top, sides, and the bottom. There. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry. Good day. And then I'm going to take my moose knuckles and I'm going to give it a bath. Why? Because it's dirty. Okay? So clean off that moose knuckle. Clean it off nice and good. All right. Let's see who we got on here. Karen Bishop, I hope you leave this posted. I have no power until estimated back on Tuesday. Karen Bishop and everybody else. Hi, Miss Karen from Waterville. God, I love you, you little, little peanut. So what we're going to do is I am going to make absolute sure that this stays on my page so you guys can do this all week long, okay? I know so many folks are without power because of that storm last night, so... Let's see who else is on here. Debbie Moon. Debbie Moon. That's right, baby. Hold on here. Oh, goodness. All right. Here we go. Sherry Bearden. You like my purple hair? I like that. Wanda Smith. Brittany with all my babies. Betty Cameron. Courtney Barberi. Wow. That's a good name, honey. I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't destroy it. Tiffany Noel. My little thing. Bonnie Van Derm. All right, everybody. Perfect. Okay. So, once you get your painting all finished, okay, and it looks the way you love it, what we're going to do is we're going to grab it by the bottom, and you guys are going to give this the flat doodle. Okay? And why are we giving it the flat doodle, you ask? Well, because we can't begin this moose until <laughs> you don't know what i'm seeing we can't begin the smooth until the background is dry okay so we're gonna give it the flat doodle just like this oh look at that is that janine bernardino kent hi from rhode island bernardino hey girl i was born in san bernardino hi sweetie buffy thibodeau huntress Watching from Limestone. Oh, you had a good concert there a couple years ago. My brother got naked and took a picture there. <laughs> Up in Limestone. Hi, Buffy. Awesome. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to keep flapping it. Angle it towards the light. And we're going to make sure that that painting is dry before we start our moves, okay? And for everybody, if I go too fast for you, especially for some of you guys who are new and joining me for the first time, which I'm so happy about that. Hi, everybody. Um, if I go too fast, make sure you utilize that pause feature, okay? And that way, you can pause me. Just don't pause me looking like this. All right? I want you to pause me when I look good. Okay. <laughs> so no pause in me when I look funky. All right. All right. She's pretty expressive. Okay. Like a fly on the wall. <laughs> All right. Keep flapping, everybody. Or what you can do, fish content. You're right, Cheryl. It was. I hope you didn't see that naked picture. I did not. No. No, no, no. What goes on in the naked picture stays in the naked picture. Hey, hey, Ivy, how are you, honey? Ivy Corliss, a blast from the past. I hope all you babies are doing the Christmas moves tonight. Okay? And mine still looks a little wet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my handy dandy hair dryer. Look at that. Like a Christmas miracle. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. All right. Good. Okay. And again, 
if you guys are not dry, it's okay. All you got to do, you keep flam doodling. I've got my hand dryer. That's right, Cheryl Farley. Good girl. Sandy Cow. Hi, Sandy Cow. Oh, my gosh. I love you, Sandy Cow. I've missed you so. Okay. So, once we get that dried, what I'm going to have everybody do is take a deep breath because we're going to make this so easy for you tonight. Don't you worry. That's right, Patricia. Okay, so I'm going to have everybody grab their medium brush, okay? Everybody's going to grab their medium brush. And the first thing that we're going to do on Mr. Moose is we're going to shape out his snout. What? Yep, his snout. Making sure I didn't paint any of my pots, okay? So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a little bit of brown. Now, this medium brush, what am I going to call it? Hmm. What am I going to call it? Hmm. I'm going to call it, I'm going to call this medium brush. I have never been at a loss for words. Let me see. We're going to call it Kirby. I think we used Kirby already. We're going to call it Rocky. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle was my favorite moves. So we're going to call this Mr. Rocky. Rocky Raccoon. Okay? And what we're going to do first, you guys are going to grab the brown that is just brown. Okay? Not the dark brown, but the one that is the full-on just brown. Okay? I'm watching Tuna and will be able to watch this later. Yes, you will, Sweet Pea. You will be able to watch this for an entire week on my Facebook page, Sarah Abigail. Don't you worry, love bug. Okay? And right in the center, what I'm going to have you do with Mr. Rocky Raccoon is everybody is going to draw a circular... Christmas, a uh, circular moose nose. Look at this. Boom chakalaka. And we're using the straight up brown on this one. Okay. There it is. And what does it look like? It just looks like a dinosaur egg in the middle of, I'm feeding my kids dinner and I want to be able to do this later. You got it, girl. Grab the eggnog. Okay. So what you guys are going to do first is you're going to draw this little egg. See that? That's all it is. It's in the center of your page right here. Okay? Egghead. That's what we're going to call him. Okay? And the next thing you're going to do, again, we've got little Rocky Raccoon, our medium brush. You guys are going to come on top of this egg. And you are going to put an upside down letter U. Look at this. What? An upside down letter U that goes right on top of your A. Okay? That's it, everybody. We got our dinosaur A and our upside down letter U on top. All right. Easy peasy pumpkin pie. Now, when you draw this, what I want you to make sure is two things. You've got room for those ears, okay? So we got room for our moose ears. And you're in the center of the page. Center of that little thing. Just like that. Okay? Next thing I'm going to have you do, you're going to take your Rocky. Hello, Rocky. Rocky Raccoon. We're still using that straight up brown, not the dark brown, the regular brown. We're going to put one ear over here. There's number one. Okay. Look at that. Mr. Little Moose here. Moose, Moose, do you see what I see? 
don't you leave me no Lucy treats. <laughs> I don't want the moose berries in my stocking. <laughs> Although somebody does use those to make earrings. <laughs> Keep your moose berries to yourself, huh? All right. So what we do on one side, we got to do on the other. So you guys are going to come over here and you're going to put another moose here. Look at that. Nice little moose here. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Easy peasy pumpkin pie. Yeah. Moose. Do moose make noises? I don't think they do. I never heard of moose. Well, when I was a little girl, we had a camp at Moosehead. All right. And. One day, I could not believe this, at Moosehead Lake, this is before the moose hunt, okay, we had a moose that swam across the entire lake, right in front of my camp, and then we also had a moose that came up to the camp, and my, my cousin's dog, Greta, which was a little schnauzer, ran off after the moose, and then the moose ran on <laughs> in the woods, and we're like, oh, moose going to kill the dog. Oh, they do. I know they're great swimmers. Yes, they do make a sound. Oh, what's the sound? I know. I gotta listen to that. I gotta find out what that sound is. Okay. Now, what you guys are gonna do next, okay? On each side, I'm gonna have you draw a little line that goes like this. Okay? We're taking that same straight up brown. And we're going to take that line and curve it so that it meets the side of that moose face. Okay? And basically, if you look at that line, it looks like the number seven backwards. Okay? Can you guys see that? So I came out right here. Okay? And then I took that line. And I pulled it all the way down so it met that circle, just like that. Okay? So it's a backwards number seven. Okay? So what we do on one side, we got to do on the other. We got to make this moose linear. So here we go. We're going to draw another seven that's going to come down on this side and curve it that way. All right, look at that everybody. And again, we're smoothing it out. Look at that, smoothing it like cream cheese. Okay, can you guys see that? Pretty awesome, isn't it? Moose, moose. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Now, what you guys are going to do next? Everybody is going to put away their Rocky Raccoon. You're going to give him a bath. And you're going to grab your big old moose knuckle. Okay? All right, we're going to grab that moose knuckle. And you are grabbing, you are filling up that moose knuckle with regular brown, the same color that you used on everything else. So the regular brown. Okay, and I'm going to have you come in with your moose knuckle. And you're going to paint the top of the head right here, all the way down to the top of that seven. You're going to come through here and paint the inside of that. And then you're going to paint your circle. Okay, just like that. And when we paint in any sort of sphere, even this moose, no, even this moose mouth, 
you guys are going to paint it in in a circular motion, just like this. All right, there we go. Looks like a big old brown moose turd box. There you go. Okay? And when you're all finished, it looks like, it looks like, will you have this live up later? Yes, I will, baby. All week long. So, when you're all finished, it looks like a ghost moose. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, I'm going to give a little more on this side. Just because I want his moose, his snout to be a little bigger. Okay? It'll look just like this. Okay? And then, we're going to grab Racky Raccoon and get Hershey Kiss. That's right, baby. Looks just like a Hershey Kiss. <laughs> okay? We're going to grab our... Little Rocky Raccoon, we're putting our other little bubba, we're putting him in the water. Okay, and I'm going to have you guys come in the bottom, and we're going to give him his second moose lip. All right, so you're going to come down here, just like this, and we're giving him his other moose lip. See that? There's his second moose lip. Yeah. Moose lip. <laughs> he does look like a Hershey kiss. Okay? So there's his second lip. And again, we've got all this space here. We've got space on both sides. That's what we want. Just a little moosey in the middle. You are awesome. Thanks. Why? Why, thank you. Why, thank you, Delia Claudia. I like that, baby. <laughs> okay. And what you guys are going to do is you're just going to come in and you're going to paint this moose lip in. Okay. You can leave a little tiny space there so you know exactly where that moose lip starts. All right. Then, what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you, we are going to put this down and we are going to grab a little itty bitty brush. Ow! Ooh! That was close! Ow! <laughs> Moosey bit me! <laughs> Get off me, Moose! <laughs> Okay, so what you guys are going to do next, okay? You're going to grab your little itty bitty. I'm going to have you guys give this the flat doodle. We want to dry it just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit so we can add some light in here. We can add some shading and actually turn him into a moose, okay? So I'm going to have you guys give him the flap doodle, flap that moose like your mama made it. Woo! Swap those flies just like that. Be gone, moosey flies. <laughs> okay, so we get it nice and tacky. Yeah, we'll give him a little more. All right, Heidi Topman, my powder just came. My powder just came on here in New Portland, watching tonight. Well, oh, you got it, girl, Heidi Tolman. You got it, sweetie. I'm going to dry off this moosey face just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now, he doesn't have to be 100% dry, okay? What I want him to be is just a little bit tacky. And what I'm going to have you guys do is... You are going to grab your littlest brush, this guy right here, okay? We're going to call this one the titmouse. Why? Well, the titmouse is a wicked cool bird that likes to fly upside down. So the titmouse it is. <laughs> All right? Now, with our titmouse, you guys are going to load up that titmouse with your darkest brown. Okay, 
the darkest brown, that's the dark chocolate one, the one that we added black to. And what I'm going to have you guys do on this side is you guys are going to make a little moose nose hole that looks like a sideways bean. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Looks just like a bean, like a jelly bean on the side. Okay? There's one moose nostril. And then what you guys are going to do, same thing on the other side. Otherwise, he's going to look like this, and we don't want that. So, here we go. Here's a second moose nostril. Okay? And again, if you look at the shape of this, it looks just like a B&M baked bean or a jelly bean. Okay? There's our second nostril. Can you guys see that? That are to smell you with. Number one and number two. And then what you guys are going to do, you're going to grab that darkest brown, grab your chocolate brown, okay? And you're going to fill in this moose nostril. And again, it looks like a jelly bean laying on its side. Look at that. Okay, just like that. Look at that, jelly bean. All right, we're going to do it on one side. We're going to do it on the other. We're going to paint in our second jelly bean or our second moose nostril. Just like that. Okay, there's number two. Oh, better to smell you with. I love you all with my big moose nostril. Yeah. There you go, guys. Now he looks like a bandit. <laughs> okay. The next thing you guys are going to do is you are going to grab your medium brush or your Rocky Raccoon, okay? medium brush and with a very very light touch okay especially my first timers what happens is you guys are a little aggressive that's all right that's all right but remember the canvas did nothing to you it loved you okay and what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your lightest brown remember we did the lightest to the darkest well we're gonna grab our lightest okay you're gonna put a little bit of that lightest brown on your thing, on one side of your brush, and then, no power, so you can wash it. Yes, that's right, Tammy Durgan, you can, sweet bug. And the Ugly Sweater Contest is gonna be going on all week. I'm not gonna announce the winner until for another week for all those folks that lost power, okay? So, one side of this brush is going to have the lightest brown. The other side of that brush is going to have that medium brown, okay? Not the full-on brown, not the regular brown, but you're going to use the two lightest browns. One side is one color, the other side is the other color. So the two lightest browns. And with a very, very light touch, we're going to kiss the canvas, okay? You guys are going to start right between the eyes. And we're going to very gently pull that light brown right about here. Right to about here, okay? Can you guys see that? There you go. Okay, just through this midsection. And you're like, Nicole, why are we doing this? Well, I'll tell you why we're doing this. Because in order to make a moose face that's 3D with a 2D surface, you have to use lights and darks, okay? The closer that moose nose gets to you, the darker it is, and then the farther away, the lighter it is. So right here, you guys are gonna put that light brown. Look at that. Okay, just like that. 
Then you're going to clean off that medium brush. All right. And you're going to dry it off so you don't get the dripsy. So I'm still using my Rocky, Rocky Raccoon. You're going to grab the darkest brown that you have, that chocolate, chocolate brown, and we're going to come in here, right in this area. Okay, right above that nose. And we are going to bring that chocolate brown right in this area. Okay, and I'll show you what it looks like once I get my hand out of the way. See that? See that chocolate, that dark chocolate brown? Okay, you're gonna take some dark chocolate, a little bit of regular brown on your brush. You're gonna double dip both of them so you're just one hue lighter than the nostrils. So dark chocolate, regular brown, and here we go. We're gonna paint this in. Okay, just like that. There we go. Look at that. Whoa, okay. Now Mr. Moosey's coming to life. Can you see him? Okay. So we've added the light brown here. We've added the dark chocolate brown there. Then what I'm going to do, wash off that medium brush. Grab that straight up brown that I use to paint his whole face in, put a little bit of that on my medium Rocky Raccoon brush, and I'm just going to pull the two together, okay, which means I'm pulling them together. I'm just painting that little underside here in between so that they all blend together, okay, see that? And look what's happening to my moose face. That's right. You know it. Okay. Blend a little bit on each side. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. And there you go. Look. All three of those suckers come together. Okay. And all I'm doing is just pulling those colors together. So they look like natural light. There we go. Look. Okay. So we have a light, a medium, and a dark brown right between his old nostrils. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll put a little more light brown here. Yeah, a little bit of dark brown. Yeah, you want them all to blend together. Yeah. All right. And there we go. One, two, three. Nice work, everybody. How's that looking? Is that I told Randy I want to wrap up for my happy little birthday present. All right, I don't know what that's about, but you got it, Melissa Wentworth Vaughn. <laughs> okay, and now those three colors are blended together. You've got your lightest brown in between his eyes because it's farther away. You've got your regular brown right here, and then you've got your darkest brown, okay? Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab my little titmouse. That's right, my littlest titmouse, this guy right here, my itty bitty. Okay, and what I'm going to do with this titmouse is whenever you guys use the detail brush, okay, I'm going to have you stick it in your paint water your little tip mouse, and then you're going to squeeze it out. Squeeze it. Oh, squeeze it like you're grabbing a moose's butt. Okay? <laughs> Don't grab a moose's butt. That'd probably be bad. Had to reach up high. Okay? <laughs> Ooh, moose, I'm coming after you. <laughs> no, 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 
<laughs> okay. Now, got a nice fine point. You're going to use a very, very light touch because what we're going to do is we're going to outline our moose's head. All right. So you're going to grab Mr. Moose, your lightest brown. Okay. This is the one with the most white in it. Your lightest brown. And what we're going to do first is we're going to outline his nostril. Mr. Grinch. Cool. Wrap you up. <laughs> you wrap me up. I'll be your present. <laughs> Make Christmas a pop out of your tree. <laughs> okay. Here's our first no uh, nostril. So we've outlined one of our beans. Can you see that with our lightest brown? And then, <laughs> mud, mud, I have mud. Okay, if you have mud, honey, dry it off, Kelly. You know that you know the drill. If you have, if you made a little mud, dry it off and then start again. Okay, you're going to start again with light medium and dark, all right? That's the best way to fix that mud. And remember, the closer it is to you, right? The closer that snout is to you, the darker it is. Dark brown, medium brown, light brown. Okay, you have to sing it? Mud, mud. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so there's one nostril. Gonna come in here with that light brown. I'm all wrap up the next nostril. There we go. Look at that. Woo! Those are some muddy nice nostrils we have here. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna grab a little bit more of that brown. Oh, Melissa! I know you. I know my Melissa friend. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have you take this light, light color, same color, and we are going to outline that letter seven. I mean, number seven. Okay, see the number seven? And we're going to go all the way around his big old nose. Look at that. Mr. Grinch. Okay, we're going from that letter seven, that, I mean number, letter seven. <laughs> we're going from that number seven all the way around that nose. And the same thing on the other side. That number seven all the way around that moosey nose. Look at that. Ooh, your mama. Okay, so that when you're all finished, it looks just like this. Can you see that? Two number sevens all the way around his nose. Okay, then you're going to take that light brown and you're going to come underneath his little lip, his moose lip. See this? Oh, right there. All right. His little moose lip. Okay. And then the last outline I'm going to have you do is you're going to go all the way around that letter U that we started off with with that lightest brown. Okay, go all the way around that lot of you. The lot of you. Okay? So when you guys are all finished, you have taken the lightest brown, we've outlined our backward sevens, gone all the way around his little nose, 
gone around that U and done that bottom lip and his little two moose noses. Perfect. Look at you guys. You getting this moose. This moose ain't nothing. That's right. You're knocking it out of the park, you guys. Okay, and when you're all done with that, all the outlining, I'm going to have you guys grab your medium brush, your little rocky raccoon. Okay? Rocky raccoon stepped out of his womb. All right, you're going to grab your regular brown, the same color we used for the whole face. So the one that's just the straight up brown, you're going to come in and you're going to paint in these eye sockets. Don't go over your white line, okay? So there's number one. It says, oh no, my moose is blind, he can't see. <laughs> We're gonna come in here, we will put paint in our second eye socket, just like this. See that? Yes, yes baby. Okay, just like that, you painted in both of those little moose eye sockets. Now, what I'm going to have you do next, you're going to grab that little tip mouse again. Okay, grab your tip mouse. You're going to grab some more of that brown. That regular straight up brown that we just used for the eye sockets. And I'm going to have you guys come up into the ears. And you're going to paint the top of the ear just like this. See that? Just like this. I came in here and I did that. All right, there's one side. And what we do on one side, we got to do on the other. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. There we go. I'm going to paint that in so I draw that line first. And I do know that there is a troop of Girl Scouts out there. I don't know who you are, but I know there's a troop of Girl Scouts out there. So hello from Artist Nicole. You guys hang in there, you get all your badges, and you have fun painting this moose, okay? And send me some cookies. I just look all these Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> okay, we're going to paint in the top of this ear, the regular brown. Just like that. And then I'm going to have you guys... Wash off your little, actually you don't even need to wash off your tip mouse. You're going to grab your some of that lightest brown on your tip mouse. Okay? How do you pause? Well, there should be a pause feature on your, if you hit that little arrow, there should be a pause feature. Or you may have to wait till the video is all done depending on what you have, if you have a tablet, or you're using your phone, or you're using your computer. I'm not really that technologically savvy, but I do know that once the replay happens, okay, but it is pause enabled. So some people can, eh, some people can't, from what I understand. Okay, so on that tip mouse, you guys are gonna grab your lightest brown, and you're gonna come in, and you're gonna paint in the inside of that moose's ear. Just like this. With that lightest brown. Okay. Here's one ear. There is one on the computer. Okay, good. All right. And now, we're going to paint in the other ear. I don't know what's going on in my music. 
but it's telling me the story of Christmas. I gotta fast forward this. Now I painted in my other ear. Now look at that. We've got some mighty fine boosy ears. I'll be right back. I used to know. Used to say, knocking on the doors and running away. <laughs> I was no idea. All right. So at this point, what we have, we got a moosey with some lightness in his ear. I'm going to grab a little bit of my dark brown and go blah, 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 blah. Add some of that in there. And then I'm going to go add some la 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 my other ear. Just a little bit of that dark brown in the middle. Make that noise, it comes out better. Okay. All right, now we have our moosey face, everything's outlined. We got our moosey ears done, okay? The next thing I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you do your moose eyes. And in order to do our moose eyes, what we need to do on our paint plates, you guys need to add a little bit of black. Okay? Add a little black on that paint plate because those moose eyes are black. So take your brush, your little tip mouse, you're going to wash it off so that it's nice and clean. And what you're going to do is right inside that seven. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I mean. So right here, you guys are gonna draw two tilted eggs. What eggs? Or ovals. Okay? So let me show you what I am talking about. So what I do is I take black and I draw two tilted eggs, two little ovals, right inside that seven, right in that moose socket. Okay, look at that, moose socket. Okay? And then you guys are going to fill them in. Fill in that little moose socket. There we go. There's number one. And I joined in late, so I think I have to wait till it's done to start it. Probably, honey, but don't you worry, girl. There you go. Look at that. There's number one, and there's number two. Ooh, I see you now. Okay, and once you guys have those moose eyes painted in, what I'm going to do is I am going to give you guys a five-minute halftime. Okay? You guys can catch up if you need to. You can go make your bladder gladder. Definitely add some more, grab some more eggnog, grab a glass of wine, stretch your bones, stretch your kitties. <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in five minutes, okay? Mwah. I'm going to turn off my lights so you can enjoy my Christmas foley.
gnome so for all you guys who's having a fabulous time tonight we are going to paint the christmas gnome next sunday let me give you a little shot of him he's awful cute all right right there gosh i'm out of breath i think it's because i was the christmas fairy all right here we go that's the christmas gnome that we're painting next sunday okay if you guys have not liked Artful Nights Main on Facebook. Okay, please like my page on Facebook. It's called Artful Nights Main. Whoops, here we go. Ready? Artful Nights Main. Oh! That way I can stalk you guys for the rest of your life. Okay, and all of my shows will come up, and you guys can do these free shows. You know where they are. Um, the other thing is, yes, tonight is the Ugly Sweater Christmas Contest. So what I need you guys to do, like I started this in quarantine. I started doing free shows. And what I need from folk, what makes my heart just ha absolutely happy, is when folks send me a copy of their finished work because I don't get to see you guys. Troop 1885 from Saco. There you are. Hi, guys. How are you, my little Girl Scout troops? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I love my Girl Scouts. Okay, so um, basically, what I need were what, uh, blah, 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 blah. So, what I love is when you send me a picture of your completed picture. I get to write you a little note. I put your painting up on Facebook. But tonight, what I'm going to ask you guys to do, I'm going to ask you to dig deep, okay? Because for the ugly sweater contest, I need you guys to send me a picture holding your painting with your ugly sweater. That is why tonight I am wearing the Christmas kitty, okay? Now, save for you folks that have no power and are going to do this later on in the week, wear your ugly sweater, send me a picture, and the person who wears the ugliest sweater, all these pictures are going on my Facebook page, but the one with the ugliest Christmas sweater wins two free tickets to my live shows. Okay, live shows meaning you get to see me in person. And I have a bunch of live shows coming up. I do pallets in the real world. Okay, we do the COVID restriction thing. And we've got some awesome Christmas pallets that are coming up. And let me tell you what, you are going to love it. Let me see. I'll show you this one. Hold on. It's coming. I got to find it first. Here we go. Okay, the famous red truck Christmas palette. These suckers are huge. All right, we're doing this one in Sabatis and in Thompson at different locations. You could win two free tickets, but you gotta wear your ugly sweater and take a picture with your picture. All right, here we go. Who is ready? Let's get going on Mr. Moose because we got lots to do, okay? How does registration look for Thursday? Where's that, honey? Is that the one in Topsom? My twin sister is watching from Illinois. Oh my goodness. Wanda and Wendy. All right, Wendy. Cool. Hello, Illinois. I think you guys got good cheese or corn or something. <laughs> look for Thursday. Very good, Kelly. I think we got a bunch of folks coming for the... Uh, the Christmas truck, so don't you worry, girl. Okay? Illinois. Jeez, I'm pro. That would be fun. Okay. 
So, here we go. I'm going to get you guys back to this Christmas mousse so you don't have to stay on here until 10 o'clock tonight. You won't. You'll be out by 9. Okay. So, the next thing you guys are going to do, we've got his little black eyes in there. You guys are going to take your little tit mouse, your little guy, okay? And I'm going to have you put on a little bit of your lightest brown. Remember the one that we added white to, your lightest brown? Same one we used to outline. And what you're going to do is you're going to come in and you are going to outline half of his little eye. Okay, see that? Just like that. Half of his eye. Okay, and we're going to do it on one side. And then we're going to come around. We're going to outline half on the other side. Okay, just like that. So it looks like the letter C because we're outlining the outside half of his eye with that lightest brown. Okay, just like that. And then, what I'm gonna have you guys do, easy peasy. You're gonna take your little tip mouse and you're gonna turn it over, okay? So you are not using the brush part but you are using the end, this end right here. Oh, got a little itch. I think it's from my beard. All right? And if you don't do this right, your Christmas mousse is going to look like this. And nobody wants a funky look at mousse. So I'm going to take this end. I'm going to dip it in white, okay? I'm going to get white on the tip of that brush. And in his little eye sockets, Tip of the brush, I'm going to go broop and broop. See that? Did I do it? Oh, I funked up my moose. Woo-wee! Now he looks like a bull. All right. That's okay, though. I'm going to grab a little bit of this. Okay. Whoops. I'm going to grab a little bit of my black. Car out. See, sometimes I do that on purpose. All right, little tiny white dots in those eyes. There we go. Just like that. All right. Now that Christmas moose can see a candy. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Look at that. And what I want you guys to do next, okay, I'm going to have you guys... If you can, if you have room on your paint plate, you are going to add some white to that paint plate, just a little bit of white. So we got some nice clean white to work with, okay? I'm gonna have you guys grab your little tip mouse, all right? And we're gonna put some white on it, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. Now, this is where I, this is important. Can you see where the ear is? We have this little space between the bottom of the ear and the top of that seven. Okay? So, what I'm going to have you do, Wendy Lewis. Hi, Wendy Lewis. How you do? Okay, I'm going to have you start right at the top of that seven. And you are going to make a wavy line that goes out like that, okay? So you start at the top of the seven and you wave that line out all the way to the end of your canvas, okay? Just like that. And then you're gonna start underneath the ear, okay? You're gonna make a little line just like this. All right, can you see that? And then, just like a comb, we're gonna go one, we're gonna do Sally the camel had four humps, okay? One, two, three, And four. Okay. 
and then attach it on the other side. Okay? So what we do is we start right here, okay? Underneath the top of the seven, we put that nice line. We start below the ear and go one, two, three, four. And there is our first moose antler. <laughs> it looks kind of like a comb, doesn't it? Sidewards comb. Okay, then I'm going to load up that brush with white again. Again, at the bottom of that seven, or tip of that seven, I'm going to go all the way out. See that? All the way to the end. Start at the top of the ear, and I'm going to go one. <laughs> I don't know what kind of song this is. They're singing Yingle Bells. <laughs> Yingle Bells. One, two, three, and four. So what we do on one side, we got to do on the other. <laughs> I think this is the German version of Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells. <laughs> okay, and there are our moose antlers. One, two, three, four points on both sides. Okay. You guys are going to put that down. You're going to grab your medium brush. Yeah, Rocky Raccoon. You're going to grab a little white on one side and a little bit of that lightest brown on the other because his antlers are going to be a cream color. So white, whoops, lightest, lightest brown and white. And here we go. We're just going to come in and we're going to paint in our antlers. <laughs> you guys could hear this song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's one. You can go to the best. <laughs> okay, you guys, painted one antler. There we go. There's one antler. Okay, and you guys are going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to paint in that second antler. A little bit of white and a little bit of light, lightest brown. All right. Hey, Wendy Lewis. I think I already said hi to you. I'll say hi to you again. My Girl Scout troop. I love that. The more the merrier. Okay. And there's our second antler. Look at that. Who's ready for a Christmas moose? There you go, guys. Now, the next thing I'm going to have you guys do, okay? You're going to finish painting in those antlers. And then, I'm going to have you guys grab your little tip mouse, okay? Your tiniest brush. And you're going to put your darkest brown on your tip mouse, okay? Your darkest brown on the end of that brush. We are going to start right here. Can you see this part? So right where, do you see where that bottom of that seven is? That's our starting point. And you're going to come down 
and you're gonna go we're gonna give him a big rumpus I'm wiggling my brush and then I'm gonna come down like this okay so basically it's kind of like you want to give him a big backside and then you come together so you're gonna go woo. Okay, can you see that? So there we go. Maybe I'll make that a little bigger. We don't want his legs too skinny. Okay? Take some of my darkest brown on my tip mouse. Starting at the bottom of the seven on this side. Wiggling it out because he's all furry because he's got his winter coat on. And then we're going to bring it down like this. All right. How's that? That looks like a moose. Okay. And then maybe I'll put a little line right here if I feel like it. How's that look? That looks like a little moose moose. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we've got the whole body outline. We're going to grab our moose knuckle, our big old moose, big old brush, and I am going to have you guys paint in that whole body with the just chalk, just your regular brow, okay? So we're gonna make very careful sure. I think I got I got paint on my kitty. All right, I'm gonna make sure that I don't paint in his mouth or his face. So I'm gonna carefully outline that. Maybe I'll take my medium brush to do that. So I'll take my medium brush and I'll just outline right around here, right around his face so I don't lose any of his face. Okay, see that? And then I'll come in here, do the same thing. So I don't get any of that moose face. There we go. All right, not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. Okay? And then when I get to this point, I'm going to take a little bit of that darkest brown I had. See that darkest brown? And I'll put a little bit of that under his chinny chin chin. Okay. Now I'll put that in there. Going to grab my moose knuckle, grab a little bit of that regular brown, and we're going to come in and we're going to paint in this moose body, just like this. There you go. Okay, there's one side, and here's the other. Boom. There. Grab a bunch of that regular brown and just paint on that whole moosey body. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Look at that. Awesome, you guys, I'm so proud of you for hanging in there. Let me tell you what, this Christmas moose is not the easiest painting, but he is so worth it because he's absolutely adorable. So you guys stand strong, you hang in with me, okay? And we're going to finish up this Christmas moose. All right, so there we go. Next thing I'm going to have you guys do 
You're going to grab that little tip mouse. And we're going to take that darkest chocolate brown, okay? Your darkest chocolate brown on your little tip mouse. And we're just going to very carefully, we're going to outline our antlers. So they, they stand out, right? Okay, can you see that? I'm outlining his little moosey antlers. Woo! Outline those antlers. With our dark chocolate brown. And that way those antlers are gonna stand out on those little moosey. There we go. Ooh, nice little moosey. Okay, there's number one. Same thing on the second side. We're gonna come in, we're gonna outline these little moosey antlers. Sally the camel had four humps and they were named the moose. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Boom, look at that. And there you go. Look at that. Going down the chimney, Joe. Look at that, you guys. Here comes Mr. Moose. Oh, he's coming to get you. He's coming to get you. <laughs> okay. And when you guys have his antlers all outlined, the next thing I'm going to have you do is you're going to grab your Rocky Raccoon. You're a medium brush, okay? You're gonna grab that medium brush again, and I'm gonna have you double dip your medium brush. One side is gonna be lightest brown, and the other side is going to be medium lightest brown. So your lightest brown and your medium lightest brown. See that? And right about here, we're going to go just like this. Rup, bup, 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 boom. See that? So basically, all I'm doing with this lightest brown and the medium lightest brown is carving out a rickety old sign. We're going to do that on one side. And we're going to do this rickety old sign on the other side. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay? See that? Rickety old sign. And then you guys are going to connect the lines on the bottom. Just like this. And you're going to connect the lines on the top, just like this. See that? Rickety old sign. Make sure you go below that moose's mouth, okay? All right. And maybe I want to bring this rickety sign a little lower, and that's okay. Look at that. Boom, chuckalucka. No worries. Look at that. How's that? Beautiful. So basically, I just took my brush, I double dipped it with light brown and medium light brown, 
did that rickety side like this, connected them, rickety side like this. And then once I get that outlined, I'm gonna grab my big old moose knuckles. Okay? Hello, Mr. Moose Knuckle. Dry them off so I don't get the dripsies. Gonna double dip him. So I'm gonna use my medium light brown and my lightest brown. Okay, my two light brown. So one side is my lightest brown and one side is my medium light brown. Lightest brown, medium light brown. And look at this. We're just going to come in. I'm using him this way. And we're going to paint in that sign. Just like this. Okay. And those two colors are blending together. Look at that. Giving me a nice old Christmas sign. There we go, back and forth like this. And what you're hoping for is that these two colors mix together and make that sign look like an old rickety sign. Okay? So here's this on this side. We'll add a little point there. Look at that old rickety sign. There we go, you guys. Yeehaw! Okay, see that? And while it's still wet, I'll grab a little bit of that brown. This is just the regular brown, okay? That straight up regular brown that we use to paint the moose. And I'll come in here and I'll wisp in a little bit of that regular brown. Look at that. Now she looks all nice and rickety and dirty. Okay. Just like that. Okay. You guys are nailing this tonight, aren't ya? Super easy. You're like, man, why did I start painting sooner? You got this. All right. Now, you're going to grab your little titmouse brush, your tiniest brush. We're going to grab some of that dark, dirty brown, the darkest brown that we have, the dark chocolate. And you are just going to outline the edges of this rickety old sign. Look at that. We'll outline it. We'll go all across that moose body. Okay, we'll outline the other side of that rickety old wood sign. There we go, look at that. We got that little other side outlined like that. And then we'll very easily go in the top and look at this. Outline that whole sign. Okay? Not bad, not bad at all. You're doing great, you guys, hang in there. We've only got about 20 more minutes and your moose is going to come to life. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to have everybody do is everybody is going to take their little tip mouse. We're going to wash this off. Okay. Wash it off and dry it off. And oops, hopefully you won't pull the top off like I just did. Look at that. Mama had a baby and a head popped off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta entertain myself. I'm gonna get a little fruit looping. All right. Now, the next thing I'm gonna have you guys do. So, if we decided to just paint the ornaments, the red and the green, right on our canvas, they're probably not gonna pop up. 
because red is a funky color and it never likes to cover no matter what. So what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you take your tit mouse, put a little white on it, okay? A little white on the end. And look at this. I'm going to carve out all of my ornaments. Now my first one is just a small round ornament. Okay, can you see that? Just a small red ball. Well, it's nothing yet. Okay, so it's just a small red circle. Now, how this works, okay, is for your moose, you are going to have as many ornaments as you have family members, okay? So, if you have, like, I don't know, four family members, six family members, eight family members, 27 family members, I feel sorry for you, but if you have that many, okay, you're gonna put one ornament for each person. So, you may need to make your ornaments smaller or bigger depending on the number of members in your family, all right? So I happen to have six, well I got more than six, but we got me and Pierce, that's my Puppet Jacks, Kayla and Jen, and we've got the three kitties, okay? So what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna add as many or as few ornaments as family members that you have. Or you can just add ornaments, it doesn't matter, okay? if you want to write their names on it. So, whoop. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make six ornaments, okay? But you're gonna make as many as you'd like. So I'm gonna start off with that little ball and then I'm gonna go down lower, okay? Cause you never want your ornaments to line up. And that's okay that this ornament is touching the moose. That's all right, he doesn't mind. Okay, I'm gonna add a big circle down here for my second ornament. Like that. Boom chakalaka. And then I'm gonna add another little ornament up here. This guy, I'm gonna do this kind of ornament. He's gonna be like one of those, um, it looks like one of those old Christmas lights, okay? Where it goes just like this like a little drop ornament okay and I'm gonna do all of these in white so there's one two three on that side now you add as many or as few as you want okay then I'm gonna go to his other antler we're gonna add a small circle here for this ornament Okay, there's that guy, another circle, and then a lot of big one down here. Why? Because I feel like it. Here's another big circle. Okay. And then Underneath this guy, I'm going to add another ornament. And again, this is going to be one of those little drop ornaments. All right, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So there we go. Look at those ornaments. Now you guys pause this, okay? And... This is a time where you're going to take your time and you're going to carve out as many ornaments or as few ornaments as makes your heart happy, okay? All different sizes and shapes, it's your world. All right, now I'm going to take my medium brush and I'm going to paint in each ornament white. Am I going to paint them in green? No. Am I going to paint them in red? No. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna paint in my first one in a circular motion. 
just a light layer of white. Okay, there's number one. Oh, are we many clicky mucking again? Where's number two? All right. Here's number three, my little drop ornament. All right. We'll go over here. Number four. Number five. Many collect your muckers. I don't know why I love that so much. I love my many collect your mucker. All right. And then number six. All right. They're all painted in white. Just like that, hanging down. Now, you may say to me, Nicole, what about the strings? Well, you always paint your ornaments first, just like if you're painting a flower. You always paint the flower first, and then you bring the stem to the flower. Yeah, never do the reverse, okay? Same with this. You paint your ornaments first, and then you bring your string up to the moose antler. All right, now. What I am going to have you guys do next, okay, is everybody, if you, you're going to take a little bit of yellow. If I, you don't have yellow, then you're going to use a little white, okay, either way. And on top of each of these ornaments, what we're going to do is you're going to put a little box, okay, just like this. That's the top of the ornament. See that? There's number one. All right, maybe you want to do a combination of white and yellow. That's all right, too. Nothing wrong with that. On each one of these ornaments, you're going to put a tiny little box. Right? For the top of the ornament. There we go. We'll put one here. And we'll put one here. My little ornament box. That little top of the ornament that holds it up. Merry Christmas to you. And then we're going to do this guy. Okay? So don't do anything fancy. Just put that little ornament box up there. See that? Oh, Charlie Brown. I love this song. Okay, can you guys see that? Now you're gonna take your little tip mouse. We're gonna wipe it off. So it's nice and fine on the point. Grab a little bit of black right there. Okay, and you are just gonna outline the top of those boxes. Just like that. Nothing fancy. Just a quick outline on the top of those boxes. See ya. Is it? I so quick, little. There you go. Is it? And then this one. Look at that. Perfect, you guys. Now, this is the fun part. We're going to clean off our little brush, our little tip mouse. You guys are going to squeeze it out so you've got a nice fine tip on it. Okay, squeeze out that tip mouse. And you're going to take your darkest brown. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to go to the top of that ornament and I'm going to wiggle out a little line so that it's hanging off my antler. And I'll put a little bow on top. A little string, okay? Nothing 
fancy here. There is no, you don't have to be perfect. You're going to let yourself just put these fun, here, I'll show you the original. These fun little strings hanging off each antler. Okay, each part of that antler. Nothing fancy. Okay, they're just coming down. Tying up those ant tying up those ornaments. All right, watch this. Ooh, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then maybe I'll put a little bow here. Not a perfect bow, just something. Okay, look at that. All right, another one over here. Ooh, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Little bow right there. Little string. Hold him on to those antlers. He's holding fast and steady. Okay. There we go. One over here. And you're going to tie each one. There we go. There's another one. Okay. Look at that. Ooh. Pull out. Pull it out. Pull a wiggy in it. And there we go. Maybe we'll tie that one right here. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> and now he looks awesome. Okay. So, last couple of steps on this big guy. You guys. Grab a second tape plate, okay? You grab your favorite colors for those ornaments. I'm going to grab green and red. A little bit of green. And a little bit of red on my paint plate. I didn't have much room on the other one. So, all right. You're going to grab your medium brush, your little uh, rocky. There we go. And I'm going to come in. There we go. Loosen up my rocky here. And I'm going to paint in each one of these ornaments. So my first one is going to be red. I don't like that real stiff. Apparently, the teacher forgot to wash her. Okay. So we're going to come in, paint in our ornaments just like this. And there is no right or wrong way to do this, okay, you guys? You can make whatever color ornaments makes your heart happy. Okay, there's a red one. All right. I'm going to add a couple of green ones. Painting my green ornament. Ooh, look at that. Hello, green ornament. There's my green one. Okay. There's my green one. Okay, paint my next one green. Add a little yellow to that green. That green's a little. I love. When I was a little girl, I used to listen to John Denver and the Muppets every Christmas. We had the album. I think it was the album. Was it the album? I think it was the album. I think we actually had a record player. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go in there, add a little yellow to this green, lighten her up a little. There we go. And this was my favorite Christmas album of all times. Okay, we'll go in. I'll paint this one. You guys, take your time on these. Do not rush. I'm rushing only because... Okay, look at that. Woo! I like this some ornaments. 
Here we go. Where's that? Oh, this one's looking a little funky. I better fix it. Okay. Where's that one? And here we go. I'm going to add paint in this, these three over here. Look at this. Hello. Oh, I'm just so cute. I love you, you little cute little orny. Ornament. Ornament. I hope you guys all have your Christmas trees up. I've got the shame finger. I don't, but I'm going to get one soon. I was in this beautiful house yesterday, the Bailey house, and let me tell you what, it's Christmas world. It was beautiful. Okay, there's one over there. Gonna wash off that medium brush. All right, and I'm gonna paint my last two ornaments red. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Was that little bugger? And then my last one. Oh, oh. Here we go. Yes, sir. Okay, there's my last one. There you go. There's my happy little moose Christmas ornaments. Okay, and remember the deal. Now, this is what I'm going to tell you, folks, okay? If this is your first time, and I know a lot of you it is, don't bother using your little brush to write words. Grab a Sharpie. <laughs> I'm not supposed to tell you that, but I'm going to because it's going to be a lot easier for you, okay? Write your family's name in with a Sharpie. Who cares? It's your Christmas thing, all right? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay? Make it easy on yourself. All right? And the last thing, I'm going to, well, actually not the last thing. I'm going to come down on my sign. And on your sign, you are supposed to write your family name. Okay? But you can write whatever you want because it's your world. All right? So. I am going to, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my moose print, which is basically, okay, look at this. I got a half moon. Okay, can you see that half moon? And I'm going to do a space, and I'm going to do another half moon. All right, looks like a little fortune cookie, kind of. I'll show you this up close when I'm all done. And then two little circles underneath. Okay, so let me show you that up close. Two half moons and two little circles. And guess what that is? That's my moose knuckle. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to... Paint in my little moose hoof. Paint in those two half circles and the two little circles. All right, there's that moose print right there. Look at that. He stomped right on your sign. <laughs> I'll show you that up close. Okay. And then I'm going to write V T. H E T H E and my family name is White. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? Very easy. All right, the Whites. And you can use whatever font you want. You are going to make this as easy on yourself as possible. Okay. Again, use a Sharpie. You didn't hear me say that though. 
okay? <laughs> but if it's your first time, make it easy on yourself. Why not? You want to love this moose painting. Okay, the whites. That would be my household. And here we go. Boom, boom, boom. What's left? Didn't leave a lot of room for that ass, but I'll get her in there. Woo! Okay, the whites. And you're going to put the whatever your family name is, or you can put established whatever year you you and your significant other establish your family, okay? And we've got two more steps. So we're gonna go back in. I'm gonna have you guys take your medium brush, okay, dry it off so you don't get the dripsies. Grab a little bit of white on it and you're gonna go in and you're going to hit each one of those ornaments. Woo! 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 A little white dimple in the corner of those ornaments. Can you see that? Okay, you're going to add the names in there, but you're going to take your time. Do it slow. And then the last thing that we are going to do on this painting is we're gonna make it snow okay so you're gonna take your brush whatever brush it is your littlest tip you're gonna flip it over dip it in the white and here you go look at that let it snow you guys let it snow as much or as little snow as you want, if you want to have a wicked pisser storm like we had last night, you do that. If you want just a little bit of snow, you can do that. There we go. Look at that. And guess what, you guys? Your masterpiece is complete. Happy Christmas moves. Make sure you get your family's name in there. Take your time, okay? Put your famous artist signature in the lower left or right-hand corner. All right, look at that, NLW. That way your awesome family knows. And when you guys go to put these in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, that's how they're going to identify your work. Flip them over. Paint your bottom, paint your friend's bottom, paint your mother's bottom, whoever you with. <laughs> okay, you guys, and happy Christmas. All right. I love you guys. So make sure you send me a picture of your Christmas moose with your ugly sweater on. Meow, meow. Okay. I'm going to leave this up for a week for all you guys without power. Don't worry, I'm not taking it down on you. I'm leaving up Shape Your Flakes so you can paint that one as well. And thank you guys for joining me tonight. I love you. All right, you guys, I'll see you next Sunday, okay? We'll announce the winner then. I love you. All right, bye, everybody. Happy holiday. <laughs>